Hello, I'm Sashana Small, in for Damon Mitchell. The person of interest who was taken into custody on February 13 in relation to the stabbing death of East Portland Member of Parliament Dr. Lindvia Bloomfield is back in police custody. According to investigators, scientific evidence has linked the 21-year-old person of interest to the crime scene. Law enforcement officials confirmed that a total of 20 illegal firearms and a large quantity of assorted ammunition were intercepted at the war after Tuesday. The weapons include four rifles, one submachine gun and 15 handguns. Detectives from the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTOC, say they are seeking Prime Minister Youth Awardee Kim Roy Bailey in relation to a fraud investigation. CTOC did not provide details on the nature of the fraud investigation. A Nissan motor car operating as a taxi was hit in the left side by a Jamaica Defense Force JDF pickup van at the intersection of Glenmore and Ellettson Road in Kingston this afternoon. A student of St. George's College who was traveling in the taxi was rushed to the hospital. In sports, Jamaican Olympic middle distance athlete Kemoy Campbell was on Tuesday evening released from the New York Presbyterian Columbia Medical Center, 17 days after collapsing while competing at the Millrose Games in New York. The 28-year-old advised that he would be forced to take some time off from running and that an implantable cardioverter defibrillator ICD would be implanted on Monday. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $129.51. The British pound sterling for $173.79 and the Canadian dollar for $98.50. In your weather forecast, on Thursday it will be mostly sunny. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Sashana Small.